gang, how are we all? Welcome back to the channel. So today, girlie has got a haul. Now, it's been a while since I've actually done a sit-down haul over here on YouTube. I don't know why. It's given rude from me, to be honest with you. Um, but today, I've got an incredible haul from none other than George Home. Now, sorry, why? As anybody including me being sleeping on George home now I know for a fact they've been getting incredible pieces in but I did not realize the extent of the homeware that we are seeing it's just absolutely phenomenal the pricing is just amazing like it's such a supermarket brand like I can't even cope now just a little FYI before we start this video because I don't want anyone you know all the haters in the comments and whatnot I'm gonna mark this as an ad right it's not it's not let's just clarify this now so basically i've been working with george home on tiktok they reached out to me and asked me to work with them which by the way is absolutely incredible like i have been shopping in the asda for years i've been purchasing from george home for years i've been doing tiktoks that have been going quite big which they didn't even ask me to do i've just like gone in and done them myself and they actually reached out to me and honestly when i said i cried i actually cried like this is a huge like house brand that we all know and love and for them to work with me and i am literally so proud to be able to say that i am working with them over on tiktok so i just want to do an fyi because all these products have technically been gifted to me but i just want to be transparent with you guys because you know an honest person so yeah i would have bought all of these pieces by the way because i actually have my eye on all of them which is amazing and i actually got my hands on some sold out pieces so yeah i just want to be transparent with you guys and i also want to say thank you because without you following me subscribing liking this video by the way if you're not subscribed already why aren't you um these these opportunities wouldn't be possible with brands and honestly i'm so grateful so yeah thank you so much to george home for letting me work with you on tiktok but i just wanted to show everyone everything that i ended up getting because why not and i think you'll want every single piece because why wouldn't you so first off you might be thinking wow the background looks looks a little gorge i actually got my hands on the sold out unit which is here now i think it's technically a bathroom cabinet now i don't know whether it's in stock by the way i will link all the pieces down below for you um i'll insert some pictures here now because obviously it's all styled and i can't pick it up um but this unit is absolutely incredible it's given a dupe of the urban outfit as huge cabinet just in smaller form this would be insane in a bathroom i've styled it for my studio with all decorative pieces in there's so many different variations that you can do if you want to see like separate styling videos as i say instagram and tiktok i kind of do all that thing but if you're ill i think um i kind of do all them styling videos on there but if you do want to start seeing more styling videos on my youtube definitely let me know but i am absolutely obsessed with this the finish on it it's just given neutral queen you know i'm obsessed with anything like that i just love i love styling and being able to like mix and match and the fact that i can do that with this cabinet is just oh it's just chef's kiss it is 35 pounds 35 great british pounds i'm sorry i'd take four like give me four like honestly what a bargain news and honestly it's gone i think it's gone like semi-viral it's sold out everyone's trying to get their hands on it i actually have to direct link people have been asking me for it because they're struggling to find to come back and start you will have to sign up for the notifications but when i say it's worth it sign up if you get your hands on one please let me know because it's just it's just chef's case speaking of furniture girly also got this now i've been eyeing this up because as you know there's probably a lot of mushroom style stools floating about this was the best price and the best quality that i found and i was actually going to buy it before they reached out to me which is given manifestation if you ask me and not only that see i've still got the labels and everything you know like honestly hard um yeah so it's got storage in as well it's absolutely gorgeous the boucle finish on it i hope that's focusing god knows these days with this camera honestly it's touch and go the boucle is gorgeous it's like a creamy white as opposed to white um i just prefer that sort of finish like i want to do a headboard in my bedroom that's exactly this so i'm actually probably going to take it to the fabric shop and say hi can i have this fabric because i'm just obsessed with it i don't even think it was that expensive either i can't remember the price of it um, i think it was in the 30 pound region i'm not going to say it is just in case it's not um yeah so i'll as i say i'll link everything speaking of soft finishings i finally got my hands on this now there is a very similar one in h&m which is about three times the price or even four times the price i pay for this it's the exact same um i absolutely love it i love the way it like has got all the stitching in as well like the detail it's so soft and i've been howling at me right so when i've been working in the living room i've been having this cushion because i've got two of these with my arm up with that and my phone's there so it's my new like desk it's like a full-on like phone holder it's just honestly so so good i absolutely love this, this is one of my favorite pieces that i bought just because i wanted it for ages and i like the fact that i can style with it i also find it's a very good like back pillow <laughs> i know it's not meant to be but at the bottom of my back i can sort of like 
sit comfortably if that makes sense so yeah i mean i'm not a back expert and i don't know whether that is what you can use it for but i thought it was really good for that. i was staying on cushions um by the way people ask me what's the difference between cushion and a pillow really infuriates me i know it's very very minor but as an interior stylist it really angers me a pillow is what you use in your bedroom for your beds like the actual pillows you sleep on a cushion anything like this cushions that you put on your bed decorative cushions they're all called cushions and not called pillows pillows are what you sleep on so if you learned anything today please use that as a takeaway um but this is one of their puzzle piece jigsaw jigsaw puzzle piece cushions something like that i absolutely love it use it's a boucle finish on it a black boucle take my money honestly i love it and when i styled it as well i'll um, insert the picture here i like the fact that you add a bit of personality to your styling with things like this like it just wakes it up it just creates a conversational point do you know what i mean like people talk about things like that people don't talk about basic things people talk about excitement and also because i've got this cushion i just feel like it works so so well you could also have it in like a kids room living space movie room movie room that'd be great you know things like that um an office it's just there's just so many ways to style this. Speaking of personality, if you follow me on my socials, I've been having an absolute mare trying to find a name for him, but we've actually secured a name. He's called Claude now, Claude the Croissant. Let me know if you think Claude the Croissant is the one, because I genuinely think it is. Um, we had a few, we had a few good name suggestions. I'm not gonna lie, but it was given Claude. It's the mustache. Do you know what I mean? But obsessed with this, it's given jelly cat tube. Let's be real, it's given, it's just given jelly cat, and it was a tenner great price point and i just love it it's he's again he's become another living room piece i've actually been using him as a neck pillow why do i think i'm on the airplane but i absolutely love him i just think he's great and you know he just makes me smile you know when i walk into the living room i'm like oh god you look great today like honestly he's just given life he's just given happiness and also they brought out like a whole new Parisian collection um, and this was part of it. They actually had a brand trip to Paris with some influencers. Just manifesting that for next year. Big shout out to Judge Hunt, thank you. Um, yeah, but they took influencers to Paris to see all their new Parisian homeware collection. It was incredible, that trip. So if you follow any influencers that went, go and check it out because amazing. Um, yeah, so they brought out a huge collection. Some of the pieces were given anthropology or Oliver Bonus. Like, if you're a colourful queen, that's definitely something for you. Um, but this was my favourite piece from the collection because he's just so cute. So I also got this from their new sculptural trends. So they've actually brought out loads of different trends for you to have a nose and see which one suits you. Obviously sculptural was a bit of me. It was given neutral queen. And this geo throw is absolutely sensational. Like I'm sorry, the patterns on this. I'm sorry I can't come up with like the whole... Um, <laughs> I try my best. Oh my God, I've got pampers all over my hair now. That's not what I needed today. Um, yeah, so it's like a geo throw. It's given Soho Home News. Like, I love anything that's inspired. And I'm doing my bedroom up, so I thought this is going to be perfect. It's obviously in the living room now, keeping girly cosy warm. Because, although it's quite a... It's like a soft cotton, like, linen. It's very... It's gorgeous. It keeps you warm, let me tell you. But I think I'm going to have that draped on my bed. Because these cushions are going to end up going in there. It's given all the vibes. Everything's coming together. I haven't started the bedroom transformation, by the way. So, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. Because that's coming. It's going to be super exciting. Is that piece of hair bothering anyone or just me? Yeah, just me. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love this. Again, another bargain. Um, now we're down to the sculptural pieces, you know. Girlie loves a decorative find. Now this one has been in everyone's wish list. I don't know whether it's back in stock, but as soon as I posted it, everyone was like, Ellie, I need to get my hands on it. You know, online, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't showing up as good, gorgeous as this. Like, I got it because I like the shape of it, but the texture, I hope that zooms in. Can you see? It's like a concrete... And it looks so expensive, but it was showing up on the website like it was wood. And I loved it, but I wasn't expecting it to be this gorgeous. So if you are looking online and thinking it's wood, it's actually not. It's like this, like, textured... I don't know, it just looks gorgeous. It looks like a textured stone marble. It weighs quite heavy, and again, it was only so cheap. Like, they're getting these unreal products in at such a good price like and that's the perk of it being like a supermarket brand like the prices is you can't beat it like the quality and the price is just amazing but look at that so i've used it in different ways so on here i'd actually use it on here actually styled um oh that looks nice that's getting kept there there's so many different things you can do with it and i love it it's a staple put it on books put it in bowls um 
put it on side cabinet honestly i could be here for all day to be honest that'd be a good video to say like how you could style that in different ways if you want to see that let me know i think i'll probably do that then i also got this vase right now you're going to be shocked outdoor friendly outdoor friendly since when can you get gorgeous outdoor friendly pots like i always find that they're ugly i am sorry they are this is outdoor friendly how unreal is that it's given spring and sprung um also just in case anyone wants to learn anything else today honestly i'm the gift that keeps on giving if you want to learn things today you've come to the right place this is actually for outdoor use it did say that but if you're having a shop and you don't know there's actually a water hole if that makes sense like an out an out <laughs> is that what you call it i don't know sorry it whatever that's called um that means it's outdoor friendly because the water can drain so when i used to work in home sense a woman who um worked with us she used to work in a garden center and i was like wow i was really fascinated by that fact i was like that just makes sense but like you just wouldn't think would you so if it's got a little like what's it called it's not a nozzle an outspout no <laughs> i'm making names over you but you know what i mean it means outdoor friendly so i'd be interested to know how well that lasts i think it will because it's like glazed why do i keep doing that it's given asmr um yeah but it's written oh, what i forgot in there oh piece of fluff um yeah it's literally gorgeous so you could use that inside though because i think i would but we need some gorgeous pots for outside i think i'm gonna put it outside the studio so everyone knows like you know it's given expensive queen outside and inside you know what i mean so speaking of spring has sprung they've brought some gorgeous easter bits out they've actually got stacy solomon's new easter collection as i said i did a full-on video shop with me in there wow i love stacy solomon i love the fact that she's brought bringing out like seasonal products as well she had a whole like tablescape thing that you could buy she brought out a boucle bunny i wanted it all to say the least but i actually ended up getting these pieces before she brought it out but i think i'm going to go back for the boucle bunny because i've seen it in our local asda um and also she's done a lot of tableware so i want to do like a tablescape this year as well like given neutral we're not hosting this year but i want to throw an easter party i'll probably end up going out on easter but i just you know what i mean like i want to I want a host that's that's my dream you know when i have my own house like i want to be the host at every single season i want to decorate you name it honestly if you if you that can't speak if you are subscribed you're gonna follow the journey honestly like it's gonna be exciting like i don't even have my own house at this point like how exciting is that like just so exciting there's so many things to come anyway we're talking about easter this is a easter tea light holder um wax melt burner sorry how unreal is that it's an easter bunny and sorry you don't get one you get two the other one is at the box in the box i haven't unraveled that one but you get two of these sorry spoil me or spoil me do you know what i mean like absolutely unreal i have so many gorgeous scents for wax melts but george home actually have their own again this was so so cheap and not only that i actually got the candle as well it smells absolutely unreal it smells like clean laundry it's called soft cashmere <laughs> coincidental but honestly it smells so fresh we've actually started lighting the other one because it just it's unreal um oh that's just gorgeous it smells like fresh water and there's like a little engraved bunny again you got two in a pack i tell you what george home don't mess about you know they do they really do spoil yeah now we're keeping on scents because why are we sleeping on george home candles diffusers scents i don't know so this is another candle i've got it's called city break it smells like lads aftershave it's divine i'm sorry if you follow me for a while you'll know like when i go into anywhere like home center and I do a smell test me and all the girls when we used to work there like we used to have like a thing not like a game but we used to try and find the best smelling like lads aftershave candle like you know <laughs> we're gonna sound like absolute music but you know like that smell of like when a lad's like freshly cleaned and freshly washed and he puts loads of aftershave on and he smells girls don't at me because you know what i mean like they smell gorgeous don't they and i'm a single girly you know so i've got to i've got to make do with a candle <laughs> But this smells absolutely unreal. Like it really does. Like we've had this burning. Oh my god, this smells unreal. Like as you can see, I'm like smelling a burnt candle. Um, and if that wasn't enough, oh, we got two in the pack. By the way, if that wasn't enough, I got the diffuser as well. So I've actually already got the other one opened. Again, you get two. Spoiled, honestly. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie to you. So anyone else struggle to get the diffuser top off? And I'm just a girl, girlies have nails done, so I was like, I can't take that off because you know we can't use nails as tools when we're in this game. We really can't because 
Again, he was not, I'm not, I wasn't willing, I love you, but I weren't willing to break an eye off for opening this diffuser. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's just literally, it's given matchy-matchy and I like the fact that I can style them in front of each other because, you know, I'm a styling queen. And then the, it's like got like a gorgeous pebble at the top as well. Oh my God, hands are getting stuck to the glow. Um, yeah, it's got like a pebble feature at the top, which I like as well. It's not ugly, you know, not worse than when a diffuser's ugly. I might actually put this in the studio, not styled there. Don't judge me, it's not getting put there. Now, last but not least is a cute, I feel like I've got a few cute items. I've got Claude the Croissant and then I've got this mug. So they've actually brought out a collection of quirky mugs in like a... Like I want to say a sea range, you get like a seahorse, an octopus and the likes, but I absolutely love octopuses, I just think they're so cute. So this is the mug, he doesn't have a name, so it needs a name with an O, so let me know if you've got any name suggestions for said octopus mug. Um, I haven't used it yet because obviously I didn't want to use it before I've even started filming, but I absolutely love him, isn't he boss? But honestly, the glassware from um, George as their home george home um is absolutely unreal they've got like a ribbed range as well at the minute which i've beat which i fell in love with um i don't know my own house yet so i want to do i'll be literally running to ask them for the glassware honestly so many of the pieces are just incredible um so yeah that is the end of the haul i hope you enjoyed it as i say i haven't done a big massive haul like this for the longest time i've actually really missed doing like huge hauls over here on youtube i think i've said it a few times but like now that i've got like tiktok and instagram i'm tra finding it very hard to like balance all the plates and balance all the socials and i know a lot of you over here don't follow me on tiktok and instagram which why don't you but i understand if you haven't got the app like i get it i do hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see any hauls in particular definitely let me know in the comments below if you do want your hands on any of these products i will link them all in the description bar below thank you so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it i hope you have a gorgeous week and thank you so much for stopping and watching and i will see you on my next video bye